Splitgate will run on literally anything. I mean it. How am I still literally getting 32 FPS on this GPU? Hello everyone, my name's Jack and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. Today we're going to be looking at Splitgate. Splitgate is a new game in the FPS scene by 1047 Games and it's taken the world by storm. There's many reasons for that, but one of which is the sheer level of optimization that this game has. I mean it, this game will probably run on your grandma's 1993 Dell Optiplex. And I'm gonna show you what I mean with my benchmark results. So I did things a little differently this time. I ran a test separate to this video and determined that Splitgate is so well optimized that I could run just one test in 1440p with each of my GPUs. And it'd still be a very reasonable representation of just how well optimized this game is. Does that make sense? Okay, good. So for those of you that just wanna see raw results, boom, here they are. But what's that GPU blanked out at the bottom? Well, that GPU, my friends, is the whole reason I made this video. But you'll have to stick around till the end of the video for all to be revealed on that. And now that I have your attention, can I please ask that you leave a like and subscribe? We try really hard here on Benchmarks to bring you really great, entertaining content, and I really like playing games for a living. So if you can help me out, that'd be greatly appreciated. Now onto the benchmark results. Well, first up for NVIDIA is the 1050 Ti. A great value 1080p card for its time, but the in GPU prices, it's gonna cost you nearly $200. Regardless of that, it does pretty well. Like all the GPUs on the list, with an FPS average of 83, 1% lows of 23, and 0.1% lows of six. The 1660 Ti is next, another semi-mid-range budget card, a lot newer than the 1050 Ti, and precisely 97% faster, according to GPU user benchmarks. Although it does absolutely nothing for my aim, we see a comfortable average of 180 FPS, 1% lows of 127 FPS, and 0.1% lows of 14. The RTX 2070 Super now, and the sheer power this card still holds is remarkable. Back pre-GPU apocalypse, it was an amazing price to performance card. Hard. And you can definitely see why here. The fact it's squeezing 322 FPS average, 1% lows of 234, and 0.1% of 15, it's easy to see how. The 2080 Super now, the second from the top of the 20 series Nvidia cards, the one that released three weeks after I bought my 2080. We can see it doing very well here. An average overall FPS of 340, 1% lows of 160, and 0.1% lows of 10. The 3060 Ti now, switching up the game modes too with some TDM, I dominated in this game, and it's definitely all thanks to this little Zotac 3060. And it's very easy to see how. With an FPS average of 345, 1% lows of 154 and 0.1% lows of 58. Pulling out the big guns now, so to speak, with the 3070, named after how much it costs. <laughs> this GPU is a monster in most games. Third from the top of the most powerful GPUs on the market currently, it gives us a 360 FPS average with 1% lows of 190 and 0.1% lows of 14. Team Red's turn now with the RX 570. A great budget 1080p card, still very much holding its own in this very well optimized game in 1440p. Getting mugged off by that portal there, I saw an average FPS of 146, 1% lows of 117, and 0.1% lows of 15. The 580 now, the 570's bigger, meaner brother. Approximately 19% faster again, according to GPU user benchmarks, I'd say it keeps its value as a great budget card comes in with an average FPS of 176, 1% lows of 148, and 0.1% lows of 67. AMD's latest GPU now, the 6600 XT. AMD marketed this card to us as a 1080p card, but it's definitely more capable than that. I relate to this card, I too was grossly underestimated by my parents. This gives us an average FPS in 1440p of 290, 1% lows of 136, and 0.1% lows of 13. The big boys now, the RX 6800. This GPU cost more than my car, so I had high expectations that were without a shadow of a doubt met with an average of 139 FPS, 1% lows of 218, and 0.1% lows of 78. So as you can see, Splitgate is a well-optimized beast. And that got me thinking, this game can probably run on anything, right? 
So I dug out the worst GPU we had, ironically the newest GPU we bought, the GeForce GT710. And for some reason, my boss bought a few of them. With its 192 CUDA cores and a clock speed of 954 MHz, <laughs> it still manages a whopping 32 FPS average in 1080p, with all the settings on low and the resolution scale turned down to 60%. But it still runs! Well, well enough for me to get a 0.23 KDA in this match anyway. <laughs> Well, there you have it guys. Splitgate will run on the worst GPU we have. And surprisingly kinda well. I'm interested in what hardware you guys have. Do you have anything worse than a GT710 you can test Splitgate on? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Can you please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, please consider joining our Discord where a lot of cool stuff happens. I wouldn't want you to miss out. This has been Jack from WePC, thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.